Good morning, y'all. So I'm getting my surgery today to get rid of this hernia that you see right here. It got huge after I had my baby. So it has to go because I don't want it to get really big. And then it's like huge right here. So it's four o'clock in the morning. I have to pump right now before I go to the hospital because my freaking boobs are engorged. Like it's always something when you have a newborn. <laughs> so I'm going to vlog today. So y'all stay Tune. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, gotta go. So I have to pump. See, my boobs are freaking engorged there. They're, they're rock solid right now. Because my baby didn't sleep with me last night, so I, didn't, I wasn't breastfeeding her all night. So my boobs are full of milk. So I gotta pump really quick. Then hurry up and get dressed and get the fuck out of here. So... This shouldn't take me too long. Do this really quick. I, I can't eat. I wasn't supposed to eat after midnight. So I can't drink water. I can't eat anything. So I'm fucking starving. So I'm ready to get this over with. That's what I hate about surgery. But yeah. So this is what I pumped this morning. So now I'm going to go put my milk in the fridge. I think I'm going to take my pump with me. Just in case I finish. Nah, probably not. Ugh. I feel like I got to take this pump with me just in case I finish. And I got to wait for a ride and my boots are like huge. I'm just going to play it safe and take my pump with me. So I refuse to be engorged and I have my pump for hours. So yeah, about to pack this milk up and be on my way. Excuse my ashy mouth. I need to put some chapstick on. So the doctor told me to bathe my abdominal area or clean it with this soap before I get to the hospital. And I done put my clothes on, so I'm just about to like wipe my belly up because I don't feel like getting in the tub again completely. So, yeah, about to wipe my belly up. And then there's a drink that they wanted me to drink. I'm about to drink that and then be on my way. Okay, so I got the soap here. So they're either gonna punch a hole right here right here so those are the spots i need to make sure i wipe down real good with this soap excuse my mommy belly but yeah that's the hernia they said it could get really big so i do not have time for that because it was it definitely was not this big um before i got pregnant it got huge once i got pregnant people used to be like is that the baby's head and i'll be like nah sis i've been had this <laughs> So yeah, it has to freaking go. Let me get some more. I gotta make sure I really wipe down with this. Let me get some more. Okay, y'all. So I'm here. I checked in. It's five, like 50 a.m. Here's my paperwork. They gave me the little wristband. Can y'all see it? No, I'm, I'm playing too much. So I'm just gonna sit and wait for them to call me in. It's crazy, I was at the hospital and the security guard, when I walked in, she was like, you the braid lady? I was like, yes, girl, it's me, I'm here. But yeah, I'm just gonna chill, here's the lobby. I'm at Houston, what is this place called? Houston Healthcare Pearland, so. About to get started soon. Okay, so finally they called me up. I was supposed to start at 6.15. It's 6 freaking 40. Finally called me up. They brought me to this room. They want me to change into these clothes. They want me to be butt naked. So it's giving when I had my baby and I had to change into these clothes and be butt naked. It's, it's, it's bringing back memories. So I'm about to change real quick. And then we're going to get this started. Hopefully they let me bring my phone into the OR so I can like vlog when they put the drugs in me. So stay tuned, y'all. Okay, I got the outfit on. <laughs> it's better than the one I had when I had my baby. Because the one I had when I had my baby, I feel like the back wasn't even... <laughs> it wasn't even tied up. But at least this back one is kind of <laughs> it's kind of tied up so my ass ain't out. So I don't know if I should go out and tell them I'm ready. Let me see.
Oh, my vein's not coming out this morning? <laughs> no, it's still asleep. That's, okay. that's new. I always say veins. Yep, slowly coming out. All right, and you came for your pre admit testing, right? So we got all your blood and lab yes, done? Okay, good. All right, there it is, it's coming out. And I can feel it trying to poke out too. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm ashy this morning. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. We don't need moisturized skin for this. No, because actually the tape will stick better. On it ashy doesn't. skin? Yes. This is so interesting. Oh, girl, they poking, poking now. All right, so whatever you do, don't move. I won't. I'm good with needles. Okay, you are? Okay, good. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, big stick, okay? One, two, three. Ooh. Not bad. All right, that was it. Perfect, part one. Another one? No, no, I'm just, oh. like, putting it all together. And um, they're like telling me they're heart sick, and I'm like, it's okay, I got you. The IV queen. That's right. <laughs> Didn't hurt. Very gentle. All right, now we're just gonna tape this baby down so we don't lose it. Okay. Oh, girl, that's fancy. Mm -hmm. So what's in that syringe? Just normal saline. It just okay. to flush your um, line and make sure it's in the vein. Gotcha. You did great. Thank you. You didn't even flinch. Yeah, I'm not scared of needles or anything. You know, actually I had a patient the other day who was super scared of needles and she wouldn't let anyone sick her. So those are my vitals. Can y'all see them? She said I have good vitals, so I'm ready to go into the OR. Look, I always think of how they say it on Grey's Anatomy. We need Dr. Meredith in the OR. <laughs> so I'm going to be there soon, guys. So I'm going to get as much juicy content as I can. So... Um, so if you want. Okay, so <laughs> she just brought me this thing for my head. Baby, this thing ain't about to do nothing for me. <laughs> These braids long. So if this is good enough for them, it's good enough for me. It is what it is because I'm going to be knocked out anyways. So she told me because I'm going to be under anesthesia that when I do pump. <sighs> oh my God, I'm so sleepy. When I do pump. Next, I'm gonna have to pump and dump. I'm so sad about that because my breasts are nice and ready for that action. So I'm really sad about that, but whatever. It makes me want to pump right now, but if I pump right now, that milk gonna be sitting in here and it ain't no fridge. I'm not even gonna stress myself. I'll be all right. So yeah, now I'm all prepped and now I'm just waiting to start. They said the procedure gonna be about two hours. So I'm just ready to start they said i should be able to bring my phone in there because i just want to show y'all the part my favorite part anytime i'm at the hospital getting surgery is when they put you to sleep because i always try to fight it but i end up just knocked out and then i wake up and i'm like oh it's over so hopefully i can film that part that's the part i need y'all to see so yeah stay tuned again time to go guys whoa Follow your Instagram page. Hey, girl. <laughs> I always talk about you, too. I was like, I know that smile on that face. Oh, girl, look, small world. <laughs> Damn it. What's this way push this on? Steer? Damn it. Yeah, on steer. Damn it. Uh -huh. This one? Hi. Hello. Hey, you call me a minute ago? This is oh, fine. I feel like a big kid. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was looking for a filler cap for the SIBO because evidently someone was around here throwing some away.
You're doing great. As far as pushing. <laughs> oh, it's cold back here. It is. It's drafty. Wow, I feel like I'm in the back office. <laughs> Hey y'all, just finished. The drugs are really heavy. Strong. Yeah, well, they're a little strong. I'm trying to focus. I just woke up out the surgery. I think I did good. It hurts a little bit, but I had to get rid of the hernia. I'm trying to fight the drugs so I can focus. They are so strong. If you wake up a little bit more, you'll be able to focus. Okay. So I just wanted to give y'all an update. I'm drinking water. What medicine did I just take? You took a Norco pill by mouth and then you took the Lauded through your IV. I had a lot of black nurses. <laughs> y'all know how it go for us. So... I'm excited to get rid of that hernia. I wanted to vlog, like, before I took the... What was it that made me like this? The anesthesia. Basically, they... Anesthesia. This shit is strong, y'all. You wake up, and you don't even remember when you took the anesthesia. But I'm happy it's over. Mm. It's so strong. I locked myself out of my phone trying to get in, but I was able to focus enough to get in. So my stomach hurts a little bit. It's like sore, but I have a high pain tolerance. Y'all know how I am. So. I'm going to be all right, y'all, so I'll keep you posted, but I got to focus. Ooh-wee. Anesthesia's strong. It's very strong. Yes, girl, I'm so thirsty. I'm about to drink some Sprite, see it. Oh, I'm thirsty, y'all. Mm. That quenched my thirst. So I'll keep y'all posted. Everything went well. I'm just trying to fight the drugs. Mm. Did you see my boobs? Uh -uh. They're probably so engorged. Whenever they do um, an abdomen procedure, they just lift up the gown and just do this area. Okay, so they didn't see my boobs, y'all. So I got to pump as soon as I get to my room. So I'll talk to y'all later. I feel like motherfuckers. That's why they like drugs so much. It's like cocaine. This is the area of the hernia. Okay.
For now. How much I'm going to get paid, Dr. Oda? actual hernia defect that's going to be suture repaired. It's small so it doesn't require any mesh to be inserted. I'm just going to close it uh, with suture to repair her hernia. Recording. Okay. Okay. Oh, at the console. So this is where all the work happens. I'm at the surgery console actually using the water arms to do the procedure. And we're just about done. So I got a burp a lot. I got some Sprite in here. It's so good. I'm so thirsty and hungry. It took about an hour. Yeah, it took about an hour. These drugs are so strong. I'm trying to fight it. Because I promised y'all I would vlog. Did we get any pictures of my belly? Um, I don't really think so. I can ask Dr. Oda to see if she has any. Everything went well. I don't even remember falling asleep, y'all. Those drugs are so strong. Is anesthesia the drug that people try to sneak? No, so anesthesia is um, is a position, like a specialty. Mm -hmm. So they will put you in this little room, and they will give you a little anesthesiologist who gives you anesthesia. Um, it comes in various types of drugs, which uh -huh. is like propofol, which is the Michael Jackson versus. Girl, what you mean, Michael Jackson? That's the that's the drug that basically he passed away from. He OD'd off of. Girl, I understand, baby. This stuff is good. But not everybody gets that medication. Mm -hmm. It's basically, they're all sedated uh -huh. to help relax you and keep you comfortable. He was performing under this truck? Mm -hmm. He was at home. This is, this is way before he was performing under this Okay. It's it's a it's a good drug because you just so real you relax. Yeah, you don't sometimes you don't need a lot for it. Uh -huh. so I got you, I understand. I did a good job, y'all. But I'm gonna rest. I'm feeling crazy. for the rest of the day you don't rest. You can just relax. 
can take up to 24 hours for anesthesia to wear off. That does not mean it'll take all of 24 hours to basically we're not going to So if you want to sleep, if you want to sleep throughout the day, that's, that's what we would like for you to do. But, you know, take cat naps if you need to. Okay, okay. It's like throwing up, man. It's normal. Yeah, side effect of anesthesia is normal. The shivering is a part of anesthesia as well, the side effects. Yeah. So, are you still feeling like you're warming up now? Yes. Y'all yeah. got that vacuum in here. Yeah, it's the little bear hugger. working good. This is what they put inside my blanket and it just shoots out high air because I'm cold. But I'll talk to y'all later. I'm out of there. Hey y'all, so I'm back in my personal room. Child, I got all this shit on my lips. I'm just dehydrated, y'all. Fuck it, I'm human. So the medicine, the anesthesia, that shit is strong, y'all. It is so strong. I'm just trying to fight it so I can actually vlog like I told y'all I was gonna vlog. My stomach is so sore. Oh my God. And like I told y'all before, they got this heater. It blows out heat. And I have it under my blanket, it's helping. Because I'm cold as fuck. Let me show y'all my cut. It's not too bad, at least. I'm on. She said I was getting three little cuts, but this is like one cut. And it don't even look bad, what y'all think? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, just one. I had the option of getting it here or right on top of my belly button, but I wanted it right there. So then my belly button looks good. So far it looks flatter, but you know that hernia, it be hiding when you laying down. So we'll see when I stand up. <clears throat> I'm so stinking sore, y'all, Jesus. Baby, I could have never got a C-section. Never, excuse my mouth, y'all, for real. I'm just hot dehydrated. <laughs> oh shit, I think I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm sleeping and I'm motherfucker. Seriously. I'm sleepy, I'm hungry, I'm dehydrated. At first I felt like I wanted to throw up, but I'm better now. I just need these drugs to wear off so I can Oh, I feel like throwing up. Ooh. So I will see you guys later. I'm going to sleep, y'all, until my mom gets here. I am way too drowsy. And I'm nauseous and I'm hungry, so I'm just going to sleep it off. Damn. Now I see why y'all pushing pee in these streets. Excuse me, y'all, I'm so dehydrated. Like, I know that's gross, but my mouth is clean. I'm just dehydrated, so I'll keep y'all updated when I get home. I just need to get some Z's right now. I've been up since 4 a.m. Seriously. So I'm standing up. I'm about to change. Oh, y'all, I'm dizzy. Ah, I just scratched the cut. Fuck. By mistake. So it's right there. Yes. Okay. All right. I have your prescription here. Okay. For your um, pain medicine. So just take it easy for the next 24 hours. Okay. Um, you're going to be a little dizzy mm -hmm. and groggy, and that's normal, but you know, mm -hmm. that's normal. You should be done okay. When you start off your diet, start off slow. Nothing spicy, oily, or greasy right away. But just start <laughs> off slow, okay? <laughs> and see how you feel about eating. Okay. I feel nauseous. Okay. Um, what else? 
So I just put my clothes on. I don't, the drugs have worn off, so I feel better now. Um, super sore, y'all. Super sore. And I'm hungry as hell. And I just really want to go to sleep. Like, seriously. I just want to go to sleep for real. Um, <clears throat> damn, it's hard to clean. My throat's so goddamn dry because I couldn't drink nothing. Super sore. And then I found the other incisions they made. Because <clears throat> they told me they were going to do three, but I don't saw this one. But this is the second one. I don't know what a third one is. Maybe they just did two. Oh, I guess they just did two. So yeah, before you could see the hernia like poking out. So it's flat now, which I'm excited for because that shit used to make me insecure. When Bay used to try to lick my stomach, I used to be like, don't come right there, it's ugly. But he didn't care. That's why he's Bay. That's why I had this baby. <laughs> ah, let me not make jokes right now. But anyways, I'll see y'all when I get home. Ooh, it's gonna be a crazy day. They told me not to take a shower till tomorrow, thank God. Um, I haven't been sweating and I'm not musty or nothing. I'm staying home. Oh, I feel like throwing up. Ooh. So, I'll see y'all later. Hey, they got me in a wheelchair like last time. So, make sure I don't get nobody. Floating <laughs> on through. Y'all, I'm so tired and hungry and gassy. You're not going to get yourself? You said what? I am, but I'm trying not to get you. I don't know how far you are behind me. I don't, it's okay. I'm here. Okay. Let me switch the camera. How do I do that? <laughs> I'm so gassy, y'all. I got cotton mouth. I love nurses, y'all. I love nurses so much. When I had my baby, all my nurses, I, oh, they were like my friends. Now I'm leaving. So, up, oh, that's my mommy. That's my mom. She gonna treat me like a baby. Ooh, these bumps. Ooh. All right, we are here. Ooh. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hey, mom. Let me open the door for you. Okay. Ah, thank you so much. Take care, okay? Thank you, I will. Thank Ooh. you. Ooh. Hi, Mom. Mm -hmm. Oh, girl, you so right. Safety first. Oh. Here we go. Okay. Ooh. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Y'all take care, thing. drive safe, and you know, Thank get you. well soon. Thank you. Girl, I can't find it. Let me, let me I got it. Thank <laughs> you. All, All right. right. Bye. Care, okay? Bye. Bye. Yeah, I got cotton milk. Oh. Mom, the procedure was great. I'm so sore. Of course. Ooh. You know when you could your life? They said nothing greasy. Proceed to Marketplace Boulevard. Nothing spicy. Then turn left. That's my whole life. Where should we go and eat? I'm about to just eat oatmeal. Mm -hmm. I feel like throwing up. Fruits. I don't even have no darn fruits at the house. Only have uh, you want us to buy some on our way? You don't want us to buy on our way. We can, but I don't have the strength to go in the store. You mean what joke on your mother, Laura? Uh huh. What I have, I have a. Uh, what do I have? She said she's gonna go in the mango. store and I can sit down. Mango. Okay. Bananas. I'm feeling like bananas. Mm. I want an apple. Okay guys, so I'm back home from getting surgery. Here is what my belly looks like now. As y'all can see this morning when I showed y'all my stomach, I had a lump right here, it is gone. Here are my, right here, here are my bruises. So 
Your girl is, oh, I hope these bruises don't get bad. So I'm gonna make sure I put a lot of shea butter or whatever the fuck I gotta do. Cause, uh-uh. I thought the bruise, I thought she was gonna poke right here, but she poked her hair anyway. It's just a close up. Not too bad. Excuse my mommy stretch marks. I'm a mom. Yeah, so not too bad. That hernia is gone, y'all. And it actually makes my stomach look better. I feel like my stomach looked more like bulgy when I had the damn hernia. <clears throat> Ooh, my throat is dry as hell. So yeah, I'm excited. So now I can really work on my lower belly again. Um, They told me that I need to take some laxatives. So I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to take instead of some laxatives. I'm going to take a natural Ayaso tea. I know some of y'all may have heard it. I was taking it before. Um, I've been taking it actually for like two years now. Um, I started back this year after I had my baby because I wanted to get rid of my belly and it actually has helped because it's my top belly and my sides. I had a lot of extra fat or whatever. So I went ahead and detoxed all that out. So yeah, it gives you a light detox. It's not super painful and it comes straight out. It's not messy. So that's why I like the tea. I'm about to show y'all the bag. Let me go get the bag actually. Okay. So this is the tea that I'm going to be taking to give me a light detox and to help my bowels because they don't want me to strain too much. When you take this tea, you do not strain at all. <laughs> It comes out nice and smooth, and it comes out really clean. It doesn't come out messy to where you got <laughs> shit to where you got shit splattered everywhere. It comes out really nice and clean. That's why I love this Ayaso tea. Um, I'll leave the link in the description box. This tea is great. I love this tea for new moms. I was trying to get rid of my belly for new moms. This tea is amazing. Like it is amazing. I love this tea. Because literally, everybody cannot afford surgery. Everybody's not built to work out all the time. But what this tea will do, if you have, you know, you just want to target your belly fat. Like, this will help. Because what it is, is y'all not shitting all the time. You're eating bad. And this tea will just detox all of that out of you. And all that bloating, bloatedness, and all of that stuff is just going to flatten it out. So, new moms or just people that want to... Kind of get rid of their belly fat. This is going to work. Or if you take laxatives, this is a natural laxative. Like, it's good. Like, you should try it. Definitely. Um, and maybe the first 10 people that want some samples, I could send free samples to about 10 people if you comment below that you want some samples. So, yes, this is what I'm going to take. They wanted me to go to the store and get some laxatives, but I'd rather take this. It's more natural. Um, and I have experience with this. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yes, baby. Operation Dirty 30 coming soon. My birthday is April 15th. If you want to come turn up with me in New Orleans, I'm having a pop-up shop birthday bash. So pull up. I'll put those tickets below as well. Like, let's get it. What's good? Let's get it. What's good? Hey, y'all. So now I'm in the bed. Me and my Tinky girl. Hi, Tinky. And she's trying to eat my arm. Look. Look at her ass. Look at her. Well, she not eating my arm right now, but she was a second ago. Let me give y'all a different check at my incisions. Excuse my mommy um stretch marks. That's what happens when you have a kid. But this is where the hernia was before, and it's flat. Like, I can feel that it's gone. Here are my three incisions. Here's the third one, which I was under the impression that they were going to be right here and not right here. So I'm just hoping I don't scar really bad. I don't want to scar bad. That's what I don't want. But it could have been right there or it would have been right up here. But I know for a fact I don't want any scarring up here because I'm only 30 and I like to dress like a hoochie mama sometimes. So my front got to be cute. Okay. So, yeah, I hope I can give y'all. Ooh, baby. Y'all, my abs are so stinking sore. Like, these don't hurt, right? Like, there's no throbbing on this side. What hurts is, like, over here. Like, it's so stinking sore. So, three months, I can't do any upper body exercises or abs or anything like that for three months. So, like I said, 
I'm just, I'm still in the in the process of getting rid of my mommy's stomach. And my birthday's in April. So what I'm going to do, the laxatives they told me to take, I'm going to take my detox tea. Because it's like a, it's a very gentle detox laxative. I'm just going to take that. I'm going to push that. Like I'm going to go ham on that. Because I need my stomach to be flat for my birthday. Yeah, I do. As a matter of fact, I do. So yeah. What a fine time to be fussy, huh? I can't get bugs. You know, I, I pumped. I pumped this morning before we left. It's in the fridge. Mommy's in pain. Now she want to laugh a little. Jonathan says she ate like a little over an hour ago, so she should be about to be hungry. What are they hollering? Hi, <laughs> baby. Look at you. She's ready to eat. My mom's up to feed her. Your mom's coming. I can't pick her up because of my procedure. She's too heavy. So I'm waiting for my mom to make her a bottle. I can't breastfeed her. Tinky. Tink. Look. Look at this one. I can't breastfeed her because of the anesthesia. So I have to pump and dump. Okay, y'all. So I'm pumping again. I'm super engorged. It just sucks because I know I'm going to pump like six, seven ounces and I'm going to have to dump it out because um, the nurse told me today that I shouldn't give my baby this first set of milk because, you know, I was under the anesthesia. So it's going to hurt my feelings, but I'm going to use it to bathe her, wash her hair. You know how they say. So that's not a big deal. I'm not feeling good right now. I randomly stood up and had the biggest, fattest cramp. Oh, my God. All I could do was bang the table. Cause it was so painful. So <clears throat> my throat is still dry because I need to drink water. My mama had made me some oatmeal and wanted me to eat some fruit, but fuck that. I am hungry as hell. It's making me really weak. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this food that I have here and then take a nap. But I don't know how I'm going to take a nap because this one's wide a freaking wake. And all she want to do is kick, kick, kick. And my mama had to go um do something real quick. So it's just me and her. Hey y'all, so me and my baby just woke up. Um, before I went to sleep, I was feeling real nauseous because I hadn't eaten in so long. Then when I was finally able to eat, it's like I didn't have an appetite. I was starving, but I didn't have an appetite because I was so and I was so weak because I hadn't eaten for so long. So I just slept it off and I woke up with another like feeling nauseous not feeling nauseous. Here's my belly now that I've woke up. I hope this heals flat. I hope it doesn't heal all bumpy and stuff. Here's that. <laughs> and then let me show y'all my baby. She just woke up too. Man, of course I can't carry her, so I'm just helpless because my mama went to go run errands. So let me show y'all my baby. <laughs> hey, Tinky. She's just sitting there. I've just been dragging her all over the bed. Hi, Tinky girl. Hi, Tinky girl. <laughs> I wanted to eat because I feel really weak, but she started fussing, so I need to feed her first. So she's okay, because she is not okay right now. <laughs> so right now I'm standing on something high because I want us to open a window. Hi, Tinky. Hi. Oh, no, baby. You good? She got all that spit. Hi, mamas. Mommy gonna feed you now. So, unfortunately, I'm gonna feed her formula. I hate feeding her formula, but I need to pump and dump one more time because of the anesthesia that I had. So, mommy gonna feed you stinky formula. Okay? Okay, sissy. All right, y'all. We'll be back later. So, it's nighttime. We're getting ready to go to bed. Hi, stinky. Hi, Tinka Vuga. So we're gonna take the baby a, a bath. It's I cannot deep. take a bath. 
Oh, mom, you ever took her bath? You didn't use her milk. You love it. It's fine. I, I can't take a bath because of my wounds, so the baby is taking a bath. So we're going to head to bed in a little bit, y'all. Hey, y'all. So this is the end of my... Mm -mm. Hey, everybody. So this is the end of our vlog. Feeding my baby because she was super fussy. I got to make sure I feed her on this side because this is the side where my cuts are. As you can see, she's smacking like a hooligan. And we are going to sleep. So thank you guys for joining me all day. And yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends to come watch my vlog.